Hey guys, here's another bike in the uh, the big Yamaha cruiser bike family. Uh, probably more of a touring bike. This is a 2012 Yamaha Roadstar Silverado. You know it's a Silverado because, um, well it says Silverado, but also the studded seats and the studded backrest. That makes a, it's a dead giveaway, it's a Silverado. It's a 1700 cc and uh, 7,000 7, miles. This bike is as close to perfect as perfect really gets. Big old front tire. This bike is belt driven like uh, like what Yamaha does on most of their larger uh, cruiser bikes. Let's take this thing for a spin. Let's see how it rides. Now you hear that um you can hear the exhaust, but also on top of the exhaust, you hear like that that the air noise. That's the uh, that's the intake. The aftermarket intake makes some cool sounds. Give it some more power. Now, the, if you notice that this bike doesn't normally have this big fairing on it, that's aftermarket. And man, they did a great job of doing it. It's painted the exact same color. You couldn't tell uh, if you didn't know what you were talking about or looking at. You might think that that thing would came factory on the on the bike. And it's got four speakers and man, it sounds good. This is my first time ever driving one of these and um, wow, this really lays into the corners. This might almost feel lighter in the corners than the, um, than the 1600 uh, Vulcan does. And make no mistake, this is also a, uh, this is a pretty big bike. This is not a beginner bike. This is a bike for someone who uh, they've been riding for a while and they want to get into uh, taking bigger trips, riding, riding with the music on, putting their, uh, putting their wife on the back, putting their girlfriend on the back. If you don't have a wife and you just have a girlfriend, you get a bike like this, you're going to make her your wife pretty soon. She's going to want to marry you. She'll be so excited that you have a nice, comfortable back seat for her instead of your uh, your sport bike throwing her on the back of your Ducati. Do you notice this one has uh, steel braided brake lines? It's also a um, yeah, steel braided. No wait, oh wait, no, those aren't brake lines. Those are the uh, the ca those are the the cable lines. My, this does not have steel braided brake lines. It's got steel braided cable lines. Man, it's a comfortable bike. This is the 1700 uh, V-Twin, unlike the uh, Royal Star, which is a uh, 1300 uh, V-4. Which I have one of those right now. Let's um, it's a cool little thing. You press that, you press that up. Let's see if we can get some noise on the stereo. That sounds good. I can't play music um, on this for too long because if Google hears the Google technology can hear the music that I play on this videos and if they see that I don't have the rights to play that music they're gonna they're gonna shut the video off it's uh, it's really fascinating stuff so the one time I was playing a song real loud 
and uh, Google picked up on it and I wasn't able to uh, uh, use the video. I like this bike. I feel like I sit up pretty high. I'm, I'm, I'm 6'2", so I'm going to give you the, uh, you know, what it feels like to be a, a taller guy. Um, I wish these pegs were a little farther out, but, uh, you know, all these bikes have forward controls. It, it's a very, very comfortable riding position. Um, it's a nice bike. You're going to have no problem riding two up. You know, this is a full-size uh a cruiser that was with this fairing it kind of turned into a touring bike really like the way it runs it's got plenty of power it's got good brakes too now it's not it's not sport bike braking but um bike also has a, uh, a fuel gauge I don't know if you can see it here I'm gonna look real quick fuel gauge see it it's got a fuel gauge which is real handy when you're taking a big trip or any time you need to know what, what how much fuel is in it guys at the price of this bike of what I'm gonna sell it for is gonna blow you guys away um, if you're looking for a bike like this you're not gonna find a better deal a better deal than than me uh, I blow I blow my bikes out I sell them fast I'm looking to sell 20 bikes this month which is uh, which is what some of these uh, you know Honda and Kawasaki dealers are selling a month I sell a lot of bikes I sell really really clean nice stuff Uh, you shouldn't be a beginner you need to have been riding for a little while and uh, you know you probably plan on taking some big trips or you do a lot of touring not too much wind hitting me this uh, this front fairing really makes a big difference when it comes to wind hitting my face although uh, you can feel like uh, I don't just see my hand you know no wind no wind no wind and then I got a lot of turbulence right here so my helmet, the top of my helmet is hitting that turbulence. So it kind of shakes my head around more than if there wasn't a fairing around. Uh, most people that ride the, one of these bikes, they don't wear helmets. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. I wear a full face helmet always. They say uh, you have a 50% chance. Um, anytime there's a bike accident, they end they they take they confiscate and they and they analyze the helmets that have been worn and you have a 50% chance of getting injured right here where your where your mouth is so this bottom cheek piece so that's why people who are wearing like these quarter these three quarter helmets that's only doing half 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 the good you're most likely to get hit right there and I don't know about you guys but I use my jaw and my face all the time and I would like to keep it in as, uh, as good condition as my bikes. It's got a good sound to it. see myself uh, really having a lot of fun on a bike like this cruising the back roads cruising the highway listening to my tunes you notice I had a USB input so you can plug your phone and charge your phone off of it it also had a uh, auxiliary input so you can you know put your phone on a thing like what I did right there you know plug an auxiliary uh, wire into it which would also um, I think if you have an iPhone, if you were running GPS, 
on your phone, it would give you voice directions through the stereo every time you needed to make a turn. Don't quote me on that one, but I'm pretty sure that's how it would work. Alright guys, this bike is going to be for sale. This bike will sell fast. The, one of the bikes that I've had more, more activity than any other bike I ever had was a... Um, with a bike similar to this, it was a uh, uh, 2000 Yamaha Vulture, no, Vulcan, no, Void, no, what was it, Venture, yes, 2000, um, 2000 Yamaha Royal Star Venture Limited Edition, it was the exact same color, I had more people watching that thing on eBay than any other bike I've ever had, so I'm, I'm, I'm imagining this bike's going to sell really fast. If you guys want it, jump on there. My buy it now prices are very, very inexpensive. It's always at least a couple thousand bucks cheaper than uh, than NAD or KBB retail. And um, check out my uh, check out my videos on my YouTube channel. You can see a bunch of videos of people who came in and, and bought bikes. They'll tell you these bikes were exactly as described. I'm not trying to hide anything. And then also look at my. Um, Look at my reviews on my eBay account. They all say the same thing, exactly as described. Great buy. We really enjoyed uh, the whole process. All right, guys.